Hey guys, and today I want to talk about the uh, um, Smith & Wesson M&P M20, um, Springfield, Massachusetts, uh, January 3rd. Uh, the Spring uh, Smith & Wesson Company announced January 3rd the debut of the M&P M2.0 pistol. Now that's uh, uh, the latest innovation uh, from their firearms company. Uh, they're designing this gun for personal, sporting, and professional use. Now, um, it's it's a sweet looking gun and has a lot of different features. The M&P M2 delivers entirely brand new platform. Uh, they're introducing some innovative features and in various aspects of the pistol. Uh, one part is the trigger, the grip, the frame, and the finish actually. There's four. Uh, the president and CEO of American Outdoor Brands Corporation, the parent of Smith & Wesson Com Corporation said, They've launched the first M&P polymer pistols over 10 years ago. They were a game changer for the company. Uh, they clearly established the M&P line as a leading firm brand, and um, it was a very, very uh, popular line of pistols. Uh, now, with all the experience they have, they're going to go ahead and produce the M&P M20. This is a brand new uh, platform. Uh, they are actually launching it with a 9mm 40 Smith & Wesson and 45 Auto. Um, it's going to be a full design uh, type, full size design. Uh, they actually have a, a lot of different features on it. The highlight of it is actually um, it has um, econ uh, ergonomic design and it has an optional 18 degree grip angle providing a natural point of aim. It's a high grip to barrel bore axis, more comfortable to shoot, and a faster aim recovery. There's four interchangeable dimensional palm swells, grips for best and class. They fit small, medium, medium large, and large. Now, the performance wise, they have a crisp trigger with a trigger, a nice lighter trigger pull. Uh, it has a tactile and audible trigger reset. It's accurate 1 in 10 twist 9mm and 40 Smith and Wesson and 1 in 15 twists and 45 auto M&P M20 barrels. It has an extended rigid embedded stainless steel chassis to reduce flex and torque when firing. Uh, it has the uh, tactical white dot, uh, white dot, three dot steel sights for quick target acquisition. It has a ambidextrous slide stop, reversible magazine release, comes with am, uh, the optional ambidextry thumb safety. It has a simple M&P takedown lever for easy assembly and maintenance, and also M&P sear de deactivation lever, safe takedown without having to pull the trigger. Comes with the Armalite or Armalite or Cerakote finish. The Armalite is a hardened nitride durable corrosion resistant finish on the barrel and slide, or the Cerakote FDE finish over Armalite or Flag Dart Earth. The M&P uh, base model is priced within reach. MSRP of $600 or $599. It's available in three of the most popular pistol calibers, the 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 45 ACP. It's a striker fire, semi-automatic polymer pistol, uh, available in matte black FDE, flat dark, or black dark earth, finishes and includes two magazines, and also a limited lifetime warranty and a lifetime service policy. So um, it's definitely a nice pistol to look when you're checking out, you know, if you are in the market for another M&P. But this is kind of just some pictures and uh, some information uh, on the gun itself. Thanks a lot, guys.